Hi, I'm Shane Warnicke. I'm a detective here at the Noka County Sheriff's Office, and I work in the Crime Scene Unit. Here at the Noka County Sheriff's Office this week, we're celebrating um, Forensic Science Week. So I wanted to take some time and show you some of the stuff that we use here in the Crime Scene Unit. Our Crime Scene Unit consists of six detectives. We work countywide, and we go to basically any crime scene that we're requested to. Some of our main calls are burglaries, shootings, death investigations, um, all kinds of stuff. So why don't you come take a look and I'll show you some of our equipment. Here we are at my crime scene unit, Anoka County Sheriff's Office squad car. This is a squad car that's a little different than what, uh, is, what people normally see out on the road. Um, we don't have the cages in the back. We're typically not transporting people. We're typically not even arresting people. Our uh, squad cars are full of equipment, equipment that we use on various scenes. We have all sorts of different tools and toolboxes, which we turn them into kits. This one is a, actually a fingerprint kit, which I can show you a little bit more of in a few minutes. Um, but we have a kit for basically everything, all of the disciplines of investigating crime scenes. So that's how our uh, squad cars are different than uh, most squad cars that people are used to seeing on the street. Do you guys remember trying to stay awake in high school math class? Well, I didn't stay awake. That's why I had to relearn all of my math so that I could determine uh, some shooting reconstruction and impact angles of uh, bullets. Um, it's one of the many disciplines that we do here in the crime scene unit. No, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm wearing this to protect this item here, this bottle, from my own DNA. Um, the science in, in detecting DNA has become super sensitive that even breathing on an object I can inadvertently put my own DNA on it. So in crime scene investigation, we are continually um, gathering DNA from various uh, surfaces and different sources on particular seams that we go on. The way we do that is we open two swabs in there. This here is sterile water. I would open that. And it's as simple as placing some sterile water onto the cotton swabs, and then swabbing the surface of the item. On a bottle like this, we want to swab where someone would be likely to touch it, like kind of around the sides here. Did you know that every human being on Earth has a unique fingerprint? I'm sure you'll learn more about that here on Forensic Science Week at the Noka County Sheriff's Office. Fingerprinting is just one of many tools that we use to potentially identify a suspect in a crime scene. We'll show you more about that a little later. Yep. Just as I suspected, bodily fluids. This here is an alternate light source. We use it to search for bodily fluids on various surfaces for a variety of reasons. We use it with different colored goggles and it reveals different bodily fluids. So without the light on, you see nothing here. But once I turn the light on and shine it on it, now you're seeing what I saw. Stains are luminescing in various places on this bed sheet here. Blood! Blood is everywhere! Here's my best guy, Chris, to tell you a little bit about blood spatter analysis. Hi, my name is Detective Chris Fahey. I'm with the Noak County Sheriff's Office Crime Scene Unit. I'm here to talk to you about blood. One of the disciplines that we have is blood stain pattern analysis. This room right here is set up for detectives to practice because it's one of the disciplines that if you don't practice, you kind of lose those skills. So what we do is we put up Tyvek, we put up cardboard, craft paper, and then we throw blood around for us to practice because when we get in a real scene, you want to have your skills honed the best you can. If you look around here, you see on the floor we have a drip trail, which is blood that's dropped as a suspect or an object is dripping blood off of it. On the wall, we have a spatter stain. And then we have here what we call a swipe, or it could be a wipe, which is something moving through blood. We can set up a variety of trainings in here. Um, like I said before, when we get to a scene, you want to have all this stuff dialed in, and this is the way we practice.